Afternoon everyone, it's Ken from KenL606. Hope everybody's doing alright. Um, this is the second recording of this video because the first one I did yesterday I made a complete mashup of it. So this is a re-record. So this will probably come out better. Um, you can probably hear, got a cold. Get into, get into the back end of it now on some good antibiotics and some steroids because um, got to kick it out of the system. Um, Due to, I've got a date for the operation. Everybody knows I was talking about the operation. Got it on a week Friday. Less than two weeks. So, um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, if, if I have a stinking cold, they'll just turn me away. So, no two doubts about it. They'll just turn me away. So, um, doctor, give me some good drugs. Um, nasty virus. Caught it off my partner's brother's children. She went and visited him. Um, those kids, those babies got some bad bugs, believe me. They got some bad bugs. I didn't feel this rough ever before. But anyway, that's the cold. It's clearing now, so <coughs> I just got a bloody cold. I got to get, uh, cough I got to get rid of. Anyway, so got the operation week Friday, which is bridge shit up. Get it done. Um, looking forward to the operation but not looking forward to the pain and afterwards so that's just one of them things I suppose um, but that leads me on to some other things um, I was going to enter the SJ poor but um, the day I was going to brew for SJ poor I had the letter through so I ifed and ammed and thought it's not worth it because the recuperation time is going to be between anywhere from four to eight weeks. Um, at over three quarters of that is going to be bed rest. And after that, I'm not allowed to lift anywhere between three to four pound because I'm having it, the operation done up there, up on the rib bone, up there. I'm going to have a big cross. So I'm being put to sleep and I'm having a big cross. So I'm having chest, a bit like chest surgery, I suppose you could say. But they're squishing bits back in and sorting things out in there. Should feel better after anyway. Well, bloody better do. <coughs> anyway, um, so that means that um, even if I did start the S brewing the SJ pour, I wouldn't be able to um, finish it off, do any secondaries. Um, bottle it, decant it, it's all too much weight, definitely package it up, um, send it away, too much weight, so I'm going to concede, a um, bit like I conceded on the smash off with Zippy, um, I was hoping to have the operation when, um, around the time that Zippy announced the smash off, and I applied for that, and I had everything ready for it then, but um, the operation got cancelled due to the Trillisk Hospital having something more important. So um, I had to cancel the smash off. Now I've cancelled the SJ Poor, but the SJ Poor I know has got to be cancelled because I can't do it anyway. <coughs> um, doesn't mean I haven't been brewing though. Have a look at this. There. Can you ever see that one? That's my Desperado slash Amigos clone, um, aka the Bandit Brew. It's a tequila and lime flavoured cerveza dash lager drink, and it's very, very refreshing and nice. It's going to be nice in the summer, that is. Got a lot out of this one, got more than I thought. It's an easy kit to brew, easiest kit. Comes in a plastic pouch of malt and malt and flavourings. All you do is you uh, warm the bag up, empty the malt bag into the fer uh, fermenter, pour hot water on, put a kilo and a half of brewing sugar, uh, ordinary granulated sugar. They say you can either use dextrose or granulated. It doesn't make any difference. Um, and then... Um, Give it a good old stir, and then just top her up to um, 20, what's up to you, 21 or 23. 
Um, I did mine 21, so mine came out at 5.3 finished. So, very sessionable. Clearing nice. Um, got got over 40 bottles out of it, so it's very good. I'll, I'll crack, that, crack that open up in a minute. <coughs> and it's by Better Brew, and it's called The Bandit Brew. And if you like... Um, if you've ever drunk Amigos or Desperados and you think they're all right, that's the closest, the very closest I've tasted to come to it. You can't really tell, taste much difference. If you did want a little bit more lime flavour, which I don't think you would anyway, but you could always put a little bit of lemon cordial or lemon squash in the bottom of the glass and pour onto that or, or a little slice of lemon. Anyway, I got the lemon cordial, but I didn't need it, so... Anyway, the next one is this. See the colour of that one? That's the Winter Brew. Now that's made up of Wilkinson's Stout, Stout and Bitter. Yeah, Stout and Bitter. Uh, you know they've got a sale on, 25% off, takes it down to 750 for a kit which is cheap as, cheap as chips in it when you think that four beers will cost you a fiver and that cost me 750 per kit so that was very good that also had in some um, dark spray malt I had in the box lying and some light spray malt um, and I put in I put, I put in molasses sugar, 500 grams of Tesco's molasses sugar, nice and cheap, nothing expensive, 99p uh, molasses sugar. And I put that in and uh, gave it a good old stir and I've come out with that. Still quite young, bottled it on the 16th of the 4th, so it's still young. Um, put it in, so I put a load in bottles and I got a load in because I'm in plastic for sending. Um, it's carbonated, so um, I'll crack that open in a minute and you can have a look at the head of it. But that's a mix of the stout and a bitter kit. So it's like a mild, it's more like a, a multi-mild with um, sweet, sweet coffee overtones, I suppose you could call it. But yeah, it's very nice. But um, but um, what I'll do um, is I'll do the cerveza. Uh, no, the bandit brew. I keep calling it cerveza all the time. It tastes very light. A little bit of a hiss. I'm going to pour it like this see, so we can get ahead. So here we go. As you can see, come out of the fridge about 10 minutes ago. Not bad carbonation. Um, I use sugar cubes. I didn't batch prime, I use sugar cubes. One sugar cube per plastic 500 or one sugar cube per bottle 500 bottle. Um, easiest way I find to do it, just line them up and just bung up the sugar cube in them. <coughs> That's if I've got them. Um, but yeah. So, when you smell it, you smell malt, very malty, and you smell um, lime. That's your two overriding smells you smell, is malt and lime, and a tequila kind of scent. But that's why I did a vigorous pour, because... As you can see, the head started off quite good, but it's gone down to half a finger, half a fingernail. But yeah, but it's 
it's just nice to drink. That is, that is, that is just nice to drink. Nothing wrong about that. It's just pleasant. Nothing wrong at all with that. You wouldn't be disappointed if that's all you had in the cupboard to drink. I tell you, that is nice. Um, yep, yeah, that is. You're tasting malt, first of all, very sweet, sweet malt. And you're tasting lemon and the tequila flavouring on the back note. And that's what you're tasting. But that's for 5.2 or 5.3. doesn't even taste like that, so it's very nice. To this one, the concoction. Not being chilled, so. Mm. We'll do a. I thought I'd do a rigorous pour, but um, it's not quite a bad head. <laughs> but that's the. Um, concoction the two put together with the dark and the light spray malt and the molasses sugar um, as you can see it's quite dark I'm hoping it will go darker when it matures in the bottles um, I'm smelling malt I'm smelling Some sort of hop, but it's only very slightly hoppy. Not very. Smelling coffee. It's smelling sweet, but I think the sweet's coming from the um, molasses sugar. So let's have a dive in and have a sip. Sweet malt. <coughs> um, I'm getting a roasted, roasted coffee. Roasted coffee and a slight bitterness on the back note. But that has the potential to be a nice drink in the winter. So I've got that one for the winter. And I've got that one for the summer at the minute, which is quite good. <coughs> anyway, that's what I've been brewing. Um, I was going to bottle the cider up that I hopped, but. I didn't get round to that because I was feeling rough the other day, and all we bottled was the winter the winter drink there the the mix cough sweet. Um, so I've got the hopped cider to bottle. Um, I thought there's three out there to do. Um, I did I did say on the Turbo Cider Facebook group that. I'd hopped some of the still and it tasted better than um, than the ordinary without hops. So what I'd done was I let the I hopped the carbonated stuff and I let that go. 
and I let that go for a couple of weeks. So I've got three three gallon demijohns, <coughs> and they're in different colours. They're different colour ciders, and it's quite bizarre. One's a dark, one's a medium, and one's a light. But they've had all the same ingredients. It's the same cider, same hops, but it's just I don't know. It's just a bit bizarre. They've just come out three different colours. It's like traffic lights, but. You'll see that when I bottle them up the next next week, because I'll bottle it up and get it out of the way before I get before the operation, so I'll get that done. Um, <coughs> what, what, bought a capper uh, for bottles, because you know I said I've been saving bottles up. So I put the got a capper from Wilkinson's. Um, £7.50. I know I'm not, I know it's not, you lot probably think it's not good enough, but I don't bottle 80 bottles a week. This was just 40 bottles now and again. And, um, it's good. No, it's holding fine. Good bottle, good bo bottle capper at Wilkinson £7.50. Does the job, exactly the same as the Young's one. And that one's eleven pound in Tesco's. I noticed, so <coughs> and it saved me buying plastic bottles and find, finding two liter bottles. And because I got f loads, because I got bottles, I got bottles all done up here. So they're just they're just conditioning as we speak. But um, my other half pot capped them. She seen me cap them, and then. Um, when I capped them, she said, that looks easy, that doesn't look hard. So I said, no, she said, no, I said, I can do that. So, um, she did them, lined them up like soldiers, and she did, I got 42 bottles out of it. Did 42 bottles out of it within, six, in about six and a half minutes, she capped them. <coughs> I just got all the bottles ready, filled them, just put the caps on the top. And she just went along and just just capped him with the capping machine, and um, the hand capper, six, just over six minutes she was. Couldn't believe how quick it was. She was she flew for it, and she said that's easy, isn't it? So um, I know she's going to be capping the glass bottles from now on. She's found a purpose for that one, I tell you. Um, I told her of it too, so she didn't mind. So all good and well. This coming Saturday, there's a show, um, one of our Cornwall annual shows, down at a place called Gwynir, now in a place called Connor Downs, deepest, darkest Cornwall. Um, and they've got a wine, a wine category. So I'm entering 15 bottles of wine. Um, class one bottle of dry white wine, class two bottle of dry red wine, class three bottle of sweet white wine, class four bottle of sweet red wine, and class five bottle of wine made from natural produce. Um, got them all here. So I thought everybody around me says they taste nice, and I think they taste all right, but. They haven't been really judged. Well, they got judged at the end of last year when I took four bottles into the Chase Water show and I got um, three firsts and a second. So, um, and the two cups, best wine and best sweet wine. Um, but I'm going to take 15 bottles along here um, and give them a go. Um, I'm going to put in the hot wine that I, I think is really tasting nice and I'm going to put the chilli wine in the chilli wine of doom as they like to call it um, so I'm going to put that in um, the only thing I've got to do is I've got to back sweeten a couple bottles of white and a bottle of red I made the simple syrup last night from um, some water and some sugar that's clear in the fridge so I'm going to um, back sweeten a couple of bottles because everything's very dry at the minute, so I'm just going to back sweet a couple tonight, tomorrow, um, 
and um, we shall give it a go. Um, <coughs> first prize one pound, second prize sixty p, third prize forty p. So, in all we know, I got a chance of winning ten pound there. So that'd be handy, wouldn't it? Mm. So there you go. But that's but I'm gonna put my photography in because I these this one might be the last. I might not be able to do any more com competitions or shows this year. Um, depending on how I feel, because all the shows at the beginning of July, and it's going to be touch and go if I'm going to be ready for the other shows. So I did the local show last month, and I got, and I got, um, I did that with my photography because everybody knows I do the photography. I got um, my cup. I regained my cup. Um, I re I'm still the champion, second year running. Uh, best exhibit, best photo, most points, uh, best exhibit. Oh, I got rosettes, the cup, all these first prize cards. It was all right. It was good. Look, good little show. All right. Yeah. Good. So I'm gonna put my photography in here. Um, I don't. But the really thing I'm really thinking about is the wine. Um, as you can see, wine there. Um, so I want to see how well this wine is is being made and most of it's been made a good well some of it's been made seven months eight months some of it's been made six months so it's been made four months so we shall see um <coughs> and what I'll do is I'll do a next video I'll do will be on the Sunday and I'll tell you how the show went and um if I've won anything for the wine so it'll be handy. Um, <coughs> um, lastly, I was going to do a wheat beer. I've been talking about it for the last month. Um, but real life stuff's been getting in the way. Colds and things like that. Oh well. Um, so I haven't had the time to do the wheat beer because I want to do... I've got to do a few primary additions to it and I've got to do a few secondary additions to the, the wheat beer because I'm going to do a St. Austell Brewery Clouded Yellow clone. Um, if you look online and look for St. Austell Brewery, um, they do a wheat beer called Clouded Yellow. It's got a picture of a butterfly on it. Um, I don't think I've got a bottle. Yeah, I have actually. Hang on. Yeah. It's called. Um, it's not. It's not got clouded yellow in it, but it's got. Uh, it's called clouded yellow, and it's. Um, it's. It's got spices because it's got. Um, it's got vanilla. It's got cloves, and it's got coriander in it. Um, it's quite sweet. It's not bitter. Um, it's got. Let's like say it's made. This one's made from maris otter. Wheat malt, williamette, coriander, whole cloves, and vanilla pods, and uh, coriander. <coughs> so what I'm gonna, so what I was gonna do is I was gonna do that. I was gonna put a bit of um, orange peel as well in there, um, and uh, do it. But it's gonna take some time because there's gonna be a lot of conditioning to it. So I wanted to get it just right. So. But I ain't gonna have the time. I was did think about doing a brew firm tar wee beer, a tar wee beer, a tar wee beer. But then I was reading on the internet that they're easy enough to brew, but you've got to leave them conditioned for a few months. So with the additions and the secondary and all that, it's going to take a while. So what I'll do is I'll do the wheat beer when I'm feeling better, which will be end of July probably now or yeah when I'm July sometime I'll have the and he's still gonna use the coriander I'm gonna use vanilla bean paste um I'm gonna use orange marmalade instead of orange peel so um we'll um I'm still gonna do it 
um, but it's going to be done after now, not before. Sorry, Kim. I got other we I got other beers I can send to you. That's for Kim at the Peanut Brewery. <coughs> um, we're going to do some bottle swaps. Um, but what I am going to do is I'm going to do a, uh, a pay away. Um, I've got the pay away kit. Um, I've got, I got light dry malt, spray malt, I've got brewing answer. The only thing I haven't got is, um, I haven't got me Cascade yet, but that's on the way. Um, I've got Cascade and Citra on the way. I'm going to do, um, a primary hop, hop in. So if I start it tonight or tomorrow, the hop should be with me by Thursday, so then I can put it in. Um, then if it needs any more for a secondary, I'll do um, a secondary hop. And hopefully, by, because the operation is next Friday, so by then the brew should be done. And I can just leave it sit, really. Um, yeah, I can leave it sit. It should be alright to sit on the yeast cake for a couple of weeks, shouldn't it? <coughs> or do you think I should um, transfer it to another fermenter, just in case? Let me know. Do you think it'll be alright to sit for a couple of weeks without being touched after fermentation or uh, without being bottled? Or do you think I should put it to a clean fermentator? Or do you think I should bother and just wait do it afterwards? What do you think? No, I'll do it because that'll be a week and that'll be nine days. That'll be no idea. It might be finished. Actually, it might be finished. Next Thursday, it might be finished. So, I could, in theory, just transfer it to another fermentation device and just <coughs> just leave it just leave it sitting there, I suppose, couldn't I? Until I'm ready to bottle it. But then I won't be bottling it for a few weeks, will I? For a month or so. Will it be all right, or should I bottle it? Let me know. Um, or do you think I sh do you think nine days is a bit quick to do it, or should I wait till afterwards? Let me know. No, I don't know what to do. I do it now. It ferments out by the week. It might front up ferment out by Monday, might it? Oh God. Decisions, decisions. Yeah, I'm going to start it tonight, to hell with it. I'm going to start it tonight. <coughs> I can always put it in um, glass demijohns anyway and leave it anyway for a minute to clear. So, yeah, I'm going to start it. By waiting for me, I've got some Cascade and Citra coming and I've got some other hops coming as well for a competition. So, um... I'm just waiting for them to come. So um, that's basically everything for me. Um, I'll talk to you again next Sunday after the show. Let you know if I've won anything. Um, so um, this is Ken from Ken L six 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 saying, have a have a great week. Um, brew lots of home brew, and uh, see you next time. Bye for now. Bye.